Hello everyone. My name is Keshav Reddy. I have a total 12 years of experience in a teaching. I have the four plus years of experience. Okay. So last four years I've been teaching it. So they're coming to the course actually. So what is the course today? What we are going to be do discussing that I'm going to explain you. First of all, eligible for a two to talk this one. I'm planning for a six hours. So duration actually for this course. Main for eligible who has already known or like a, who has no already knows known about it like a ECC, ECC means ECC FICO or ECC Finance or like S4 HANA Finance. You got me right? Huh? So who already known ECC FICO or Finance and because this may be going to be discussed regarding to the delta changes. Delta means like a nothing but a differences between difference between to the ECC HANA changes to S4 HANA changes. I'll going to explain and as well as to the Wherever the possibility, I'm going to post a transaction and the answer, I'm going to show you the result as well. So the, you got me right. Huh? The course is mainly like the course is to explain you to the differences, especially differences between ACC versus S4 HANA finance. This is morely discuss of what the functional point of view, finance point of view, or FICO point of view. I'm going to discuss more more detailed manner. Okay, here, here is, as I mentioned again, who has eligible, who has already known ECC and that's better to know what is the differences in newly functionality or you've already known S4 HANA Finance, you'll come to know what is existed. The differences mainly, especially interview point of view or basic understanding purpose, this will help you on it. Okay, that is the course, uh, course purpose actually. As mentioned, planning for the duration, as mentioned, duration is like a six hours. So... I'm not going to be explain more detail of the technical stuff. I'm going to explain more uh, what I can say, more functional point of view only we're going to be discuss here. Okay, more functional point of view only we're going to discuss here. Let's firstly, and I'll quickly over you that. First, I'll go into the, what is the today agenda I'm going to do. Today, I'll give you that what is uh, HANA, what is S4 HANA, and I can say just the basic, I can say basic overview of today agenda of the class, okay, today. Today, what we are planning to go into cover today is like a basic idea of basic idea of and S4 HANA, I can say S4 HANA. And here is one of the functionality in S4 point of view. We, we have the universal general. This, I'll give the just a and, uh, detail, basic idea of this one, universal general. Then more mostly we'll concentrate on what is the currency changes we have and ledgers, this point of view, what are the changes we are getting for this is a today agenda for the classes okay. so yeah i'm going to uh, give you that what is uh architecture of this for huh? and quickly i'm going to go through this one yeah before we start to uh, start this one anyone have a, a clarification what is a course and what we are planning to do in it all just you can uh, raise it i can answer for the same are you clear? If you are clear, just confirm me. I can proceed it. Okay. I hope everyone is clear, right? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Shall then? Yeah. Basic idea for S4 HANA. What what are the changes in that, right? Let me hear it. And then said you hear it. Many of the people will get to understand what is a HANA, what is a S4 HANA. We need to be, we need to understand basic idea of to be. Many people come like a, many, there is a slight differences for the HANA and S4 HANA. What is the main differences for the HANA? It is HANA is a nothing but like a in-memory database technology. Nothing but a, I can say like a database. Hard disk simple manner I can say here is nothing but a database is hana is nothing but simple man simple language i can tell you this is a database of the s4 hana this is database of the s4 hana one line i can say what is s4 hana s4 hana is uh, nothing but like an application server let me figure out you on the differences to the AC, sap sap hana to s4 hana i'm taking your next screen if you see here is if you see here is Presentation screen, this is a landscape actually, I can see like a presentation screen, application screen, database screen. This is basically like a ECC uh, point of view, I can say. This left side, you can say ECC. 
the last one is a database in an easy HANA databases. The applications application layer it is called a S4 HANA. Let me write here as one point you understand here is the old version we call ECC, correct? ECC HP7, whatever that we call ECC FICO, right? See, ECC FICO, this is we call application point of view. ECC, I can say this is we call ECC in S4 HANA. I'm sorry, this is application layer where we are using the FICO consultant. I can say FICO consultant or functional consultant, anything. In a old version, we call it ECC, a latest version, we call it S4 HANA. This four, this is purely, I can say, this is purely functional point of view. I can say here is ECC and S4 HANA. This is old version. I can say old version. This is the latest version, new version. I can say this is a, the way of business is working. Simple manner I'm talking about you to hear us. Okay, old and new version. Here, here is in here database point of view in ECC database. I can say database, database, any database it will support any database. Any database means like a, a majority of them, if we know it is like a Oracle, they are using many long term and others also. Oracle and others also. The latest, latest. Uh, I can say latest uh, ECC system, they're using even S4 HANA, HANA also, sorry, Oracle and HANA database also and other database. I can, what I'm into trying to tell you with the point here is, here any any database it will support and by using ECC, ECC old version, we can support, it will support any database. But coming to the latest version of the S4 HANA, it will support only database is mandatory. HANA database only, we need to use it. HANA database is a mandatory, we need to use for the <laughs> latest version. That is the difference. HANA is application layer, I can say, where we are using to the application. That can be a FICO, that can be SD, that can be a got me written. This layer will help you, I can say, is FICO, I can say SD, I can say MM, it can be PP. This is all we call here is database where the data is stored system, nothing but a server we call right up. I can say HANA database. We can. That is different. S4 HANA is a functional point of view and this is purely database where it is stored. This is one point. Additionally, like additionally, I can say in HANA, uh, one screen I, I have shared you with, right? This is one point you can see. In memory database concept, what is this point I'm going to tell you? This is especially the introduced, the introduced, they introduced, I can say, introduced in S4 HANA, in memory database concept. In memory database concept, it is not existed here, it is existed in here only. Okay, in memory database concept. See, what is important, I'll tell you here is um, quickly. Here, where is the Application, application layer, I can say, where the server point of view example, I can say, presentation. Here, here, I can say, here is, generally application layer here is, basically here is, it will work for as mediator. What is a mediator here is, example, in the left side, I'm showing you to the old version. Presentation screen, where here is, I can say, when you do the inputs, Application, it takes to the systematically, it stores in the database. When you want to like a report, a present layer itself, you, you give the instruction. In instruction, it will application layer takes to the database. From here, it will bring into the data and it will show the report in the presentation layer. What I mean to hear here is an application layer will help us to what you need to give the instruction at a high level. It will take to the database, database to it will come into the presentation. That what model in old version. To the coming to the latest version, at a presentation layer, I mean, you give the instruction to this here is the data instead of storing to the HANA database, example, HANA database, here application layer itself, it is a the RAM, we call it right up. The speed purpose, what we are using RAM, RAM level, I can say it is a hard, like a storage system is there. Every transaction, it will be stored, application layer will be, slowly, it will be synchronized to the database here. What point here is we need to understand when I want to take the report, system will take the data from here itself, application layer itself, 
it will take the data and it will be presented so that's one of the reason it very quickly very quickly uh, the faster compared to like ecc2 s4 hana it is a faster that is the reason i can say so what i mean to say here is in memory concept it is application layer itself the data it stores the every transaction data that will help you to like uh, quickly uh, to present the reports i can say reports and any other functions so adr it there is no chance every instruction go to application application takes to the database data such the data then bring into the front to top level it is happening now no need to go for a database level it application layer itself one layer almost one layer it is quickly we are getting we are getting updated i can say from here to here it will update it one this is one point additionally i can tell you to the latest version of the s4 hana in in memory database means like a, that is will help us to the faster to to track the data and second thing hana why they are using hana database earlier to here is i can say database point of view hana database point of view right there are many features they have introduced as for hana in a hana database point of view let me uh, uh, i'll give the one small bit see earlier version i'm uh, in your database it will help on to, to store the data to whenever we want we can retrieve the data simple manner i can say store the data store the data and retrieve means like whenever we require as a report it will be help you storing the data and whenever the we report it will be retrieving the data from here as i can say retrieve the data from here so latest version of as hana database hana database will help you not only store and retrieve this along with this functionality hana database example see we have the speed functionality the web i can say here is database hana database i can say along with the store system storing the data and retrieve it whenever the report along with this one i can say in built speed system it is there. if we hard about anyone the latest uh, ha laptops hard disk is a like sdd their technology they have introduced if you remember in an idea sdd will help you on this like uh, two things one along data storage like earlier hard disk in built speed system to uh, speeding of the whenever retrieving the data the speed functionality also sdd having that is latest hard disk of the like a laptop laptops we have the similarly i can say there are in built many functionality as for hana to get the speed functional so in more detail we will discuss later i can say these things i can say speed i can say we have other functional so this is one key point to understand acc is nothing but like a presentation or like a, i can say the r uh, function point of view and the s4 also latest version function point of view in database is all over earlier we used any databases latest version we are using to the hana database we are using so that is the difference hana s4 hana hana is a fun s4 hana is a functional point of view the pico module where we are using or as dd any other but hana module is nothing but a completely databases both are not the same you got me right here latest uh, hana is mandatory for s4 hana hana database is a mandatory correct that what we discussed hana database mandatory in s4 hana functionality correct no? here they have introduced uh, in in memory database also correct no? just when you write and hana data store system i can see the the wf story system from data i put finance point of view or other point of view as for a point of view i just want to go through the few more sites actually let me hear is actually i have opened to the two servers as for one is the scene is one of the reason bit slow okay bear with me that the same yeah data model i can say this is all about like in memory database concept i can say this is like a hana support to there are multiple things here is i can see user experience beautiful user experience i can say the one of the great new new functionality great new function one of the great functionality is nothing but a fury apps is a one of the great functionality i can say here as okay i can say here in s4 hana they have introduced like a many databases one of the important and another one is like a, the big change 
database is one point I can say one of the big change. The Fury apps. In end of this session, I'm going to show you what is a Fury app. Few postings I can say. Fury app is nothing but it. That is the tiles we call. By using this, we can post any device. By using this Fury apps concept, we can use any device. I can say like a simple manner, either tab or like a laptop or I can say mobile. By using Fury app, it, uh, user can post any transaction. This one. Fury apps concept is a, one of the more important one. The last is like a finance point of view. I can say finance point of view. There's a big change. I can say universal general ledger. The finance point of view, we have like a big change. I can say in S4 HANA finance point of view. Finance point of view means SAP as finance point of view is big change. Universal. universal. That's new functionality is like especially for us to do the the big change, one of the big change I can see, especially this is the one to the universal general concept they have introduced. What is the in universal general ledger? It is nothing but like I can say, there is a one table they have introduced for many solutions. Hello, sir. The table name is so I can I share you with like a one slide. I can see, I can say. Simple, I can say here is by using the Fury apps concept applications, we can we can use by using any device. I can say or desk, desktop or laptop. I can say tab. I can use mobile. We can post a transaction. We can see the report by using of the Fury functionality in old version. And I can say ECC doesn't have the functionality of this one. I can say so user the, with the security actually with the security uh, inbuilt. They they they'll give the provision for the users. They can they can use like I can say whenever they travel whenever they, I can say like any time any place they can post by using a mobile also they can use SAP system I can say something okay that is one great functionality they have introduced in S4 HANA I can say here is to the not only finance module it is everyone they have introduced Fury apps by Fury apps this is nothing but by using this by using this functionality. By using this functionality, I can say by using Fury apps, by using Fury apps, we can post, we can post any transaction, transaction with any device. Okay, device I can say, you can say simple device, device I can say, any device, simple mobile also I can say. This is applicable for all I can say, I can say all means like a above, oh, I can sorry. This for us, the finance, this for like PSD, and everyone, this functionality is introduced. Let me come back to our finance point of view. What is the great change we can figure out? That is one of the great changes they have introduced S4 HANA, like a latest version of the system, universal general. That is nothing but a one table, I can say, they have introduced for like AC DOCA. There's a table name is AC DOCA. This is for like a many, like a many, or I can say many, so many problems with this solution, or I can say many advantages they have inbuilt, they have introduced universal general. So more detail we'll discuss la, uh, later, but I can show you now only few slides I can go to show you for the universal literature, what it is actually it will help you on it. Okay. One, one to two points we're going to discuss. Then we'll move on to the as currencies and ledger concept we're going to discuss. Okay, give me a second. It is loading. Yeah. See, in, can say introduced. This universal general is a basis for the integrated accounting system, which is financial accounting management accounting system data according to the single chart of accounts i can say since all the financial databases it will be same like a, it will be stored in one line no reconciliation account record between to the financial accounting and management account accounting record and others also so what i mean to say here is data is storing the way of a storage earlier a simple example i'm telling you to that and co and fi co and fi fi and co sorry fi point of view one document will be created and see what point of view separate document will be created. The data is stored, FI or uh, document will be stored, the day, FI related to the tables and CO related to the table, CO, uh, COEP and other tables, it will be stored. So when one fine day, like we need to do the reconciliation FI to CO. 
But now the situation is single document only created. FI2, so only single document is created. With the single document, what I can say, here is single document will be created. That single document, say single document, so that has no inflation required. It will support for a both the single document is FI and CO reporting point. So there is no reconciliation. That same manner, assets and I can say COPA and other points also. So this is one simple example. See, you can you can see the one more slide for universal general point of view. This is big table change. I can say like yeah. Here you can see here is universal general day hundred is right. So they it can see CO also almost integrated with that now. Area is integrated, but the data is updated come in a AC Docker table universal general table. Asset data also. Asset is a complete uh, separate setup we have. Like uh, we have the tables, I can say like uh, uh, those data table tables. Now those are not required. In it is stored the data of the asset accounting also. I can say universal general. Universal general is nothing but an AC Docker. Even regular transactions of asset accounting, when general ledger accounts, ledgers, uh, ledgers and you know, values also posted in universal general. And the COPA also, we have introduced account based COPA in S4 HANA. That also it will. Even it will support for the material ledger purpose also, it will support for the inverse of general. Nothing but a AC Docker, it will support it. So I can say there are many functionality. It stores the data at one place, simple manner. I can say AC Docker table, it stores. Not only it stores, and I can say a uh, it, it it the way of reporting faster also it will be so faster earlier to now because in the the way the bill for this like in what's general it is completely different to earlier to now right so yeah chill then i can say here is uh, just one more slide i want to show you here is because of uh, ac docker uh, uh, like these many, uh, they have, we have uh, these many tables. They are moved in S4 HANA. <clears throat> the solution for all, it is a AC Docker table, nothing but a universal general table. It is how, why it is removed and all stuff. We'll discuss end of the session. We're going to discuss for the universal general concept of it. Okay. Then coming to the coming to the currencies point of view, the main set to the class for our today class. We're going to discuss. Okay. Let me close this one. Yeah. We Coming to the class point of view, the currency point of view, we'll discuss now. Okay, so yeah, uh, in like uh, before, I'm going to the currencies. Anyone have a questions? The base idea after the SAS, SAP and S4 HANA. Anyone have a question? Just raise your side, and I can answer. Then we'll move on to the currencies point of view. Sir, I have small doubt. Yeah, go ahead, Ashwini. Mm -hmm. Sir, in uh, ECC is. ECC some tables are removed, but others are converted to AC Doka table or how it will be? Yeah, see, as mentioned, I'll explain you to the end of this uh, our class. We'll discuss more manner of the AC Doka, what, what are the tables discuss, what converting happening and everything, okay? Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah, any other? You have this yeah, uh, yeah, we can able to use Fury apps only in S4 HANA or can we use it in uh, GC as well? This is, I can see any distance, let us know and uh, we'll plan other way. Okay. Yes. So, the, uh, currency, we have a changes. One of the other changes, say currencies is a, one of the change in a SAP functionality finance point of view. So, as mentioned, one, it is like a finance point of view, finance point of view is a change, one, universal general. The next point is next point is this we will discuss more detailed manner further. And second is like a currency changes is there old version to new version to the changes of the currency. What changes we have received? Like uh, we'll discuss now. Before that, I can say what is existing in ECC that we'll discuss now. Okay, what is ECC? Yeah, ECC, I can say currencies, there are three currencies it is supported in ECC functionality and I can say old functionality. So supported three functionality, meaning this, these are the three it is supported for the reporting currencies. 
Let me one point I want to clarify you to hear is many students are get confused still on now also. Is used for the two different purposes. One is the reporting purpose. Reporting purpose. One is reporting. Reporting. So reporting means like a once you posted a transaction that will show the different currencies report. I can say company code currency. Example I'm writing here is example here is I'm writing company code currency. If you are using example ten typewriter, if you are using company code currency INR. And second is like a group currency. I can say example group currency. We are using USD currency. One one I'm writing here is I can say INR. INR. Then last one, hard currency, index-based currency, I'll talk about like that. Okay. That is like a um, country-based, especially highly inflation particular country, they'll use. Let me figure out if the reporting currencies is called nothing but a company code currency and group currency. Here, SAP, either old version or a new version, it will support it. With how many currencies it is supported, meaning that is like a reporting currencies only. Let me here as I can say, if any transaction, if I'm posting, that it will be show only these two currencies only it will be sure i'm referring to the transaction i can post anything example i can say here is i can say here is this is reporting currencies right i can say let me write here this is reporting currencies this is reporting currencies this is reporting this is reporting currencies I can transaction or like a document currency there is another one is higher layer it can say document currency document currency or document currency or a transaction currency or posting currency also we call transaction currency this is i can say this is this is this currency i can say we can use any currency, we can use posting a transit. No limitation for this one. But this is a reporting point of view. We ha I have the limitation that I can use max to maximum old version 2 and third one also it is allowed. But transaction posting or like a document currency, there is no limitation. I can post anything. Example, I can post INR. The value, if I'm posting a transaction INR, it will be showing a reporting INR and as well as USD. Okay, second thing, if I'm posting USD example currency, and this is converting to the ultimately INR and as well as to the USD. If I'm posting transaction euro, I can post it any currency I can. This is ultimately it will converting. I can say GBP, I can use it. So coming to the, uh, what I mean to say, now I'm we're discussing about like a currency's point of view. Currency settings for in ECC and S4 HANA, what are the changes it is facing it? Before that, I want to address you to that. There is one point we want to, everyone must clear. Then we're going to discuss the currencies point of either ECC and S4. Here I can say document currency or posting currency. I can use any currency. I can say I can post any transaction I can use. I can see, I can use INR, I can use USD, I can use Euro, I can use GBP, I can use anything. What I mean to say, even example, I have the business in India. I can do any for any foreign currency or any currency. I can deal the transactions. There is no objection for it. But when I'm doing deal the transaction, any other currency that it will be converting to the our reporting currency, reporting currencies. Example, as mentioned, reporting currency is first one is a company code currency. I'm writing here as the reporting currencies. Reporting currencies, I can say. That I am writing the other way. Go to I'm writing to the reporting currencies. This is above document posting currency. Reporting currency, I can say first one is a company code currency. Company code currency. Example, I'm using INR. Correct? That's what we are discussing. INR, yes, where is it? Next is another reporting. I can I'm using for the reporting, another reporting currency, group currency. I'm using. So here group currency and using. Here what happened, if I'm using these two currency reporting meaning, ultimately, ultimate, the values should converting to the transaction posting currency. If you are high level you posted, that should converting to the INR and GBP. 
if you are not using to the group like a group currency you are using only uh, the inr i mean company code currency every transaction it should converting to the inr whatever currency you posted by using this currency will submit it the report by using this currency i posted this the currencies i am posting the report example i am telling you here is example i am telling you here is in a usd today rate 83 rupees of so one usd is equal to uh, i can say like 83 rupees something it is going to be there right huh? just let me check online we want to check example usd dollars versus inr today it is close to i think like 83 it's around it there 83.29 we have correct now back to your example example here is 83 point right huh? I can say here is 83.1, the rate I'm writing here is above 83.29 or something. You see. If I posted $1,000 in entry, any entry I posted, example, the dollars of $1,000 if I posted, what will happen? This $1,000 into converting to the INR rupees, the worth of, can you have anybody help me out? What is the amount? It will be converting to the... 83,000. 83,000. Yeah, exactly. 83,000. Here is like a, this is converting to him. So here, uh, if I post a transaction in INR, there is no conversion required because INR to INR, whatever you posted, that amount it will become to the automatically as at reporting level. Example here is I'm posting 1,000, uh, 1,000 or 2,000, what are the 2,000 currencies? I feel you 2,000 INR, it will be converting. Not required to conversion as it is, it will update it this layer level. If I'm going to same thing, euro example, euro, the euro is one <clears throat> with rate of INR. This is a 93 point example, 93 example, roughly I'm writing 92 or 94 rupees. It is a one, one euro is equal to 94 INR rupees. The meaning if I posted here is like example, like a example, like a 500 euro. 500 euros that I have posted. The conversion of the INR is like a 500 euros equal to 94 each one is posted to 47,000 rupees of INR if you posted. The point to under I make you understand document currency <clears throat> or posting currency, I can use any currency. There is no limitation, I can say. There is no limitation. To the, I'm writing here as document currency and posting currencies. There is no limitation. We can use any currency happily. And okay, no limitation. I can post any using. But, but there is a limitation for reporting currencies. Reporting means the value. It will show the reporting. Example, if you are doing India, in, in, in rupees only, you can need to be submitted the external reporting. Nothing but legal report. You need to submit it with INR. Here, what I am trying to say here is, these are... If somebody asks you to the ECC how many currencies it is supported. The meaning here is the reporting currencies. There are that they mean their mean is their reporting currencies. In ECC, it supported max three to three reporting currencies. It is supported. I can say company code currency, group currency, hard currency. This is inbuilt company code currency at the time of company code creation. This will use for and the T code we know it is for the OG. At the time of company code creation, it will show. The same here is like a, there is group currency. This is will client level will activate it. The T code is SSC4. This uh, this will I can say this is we can use for the reporting point of view the, as a group currency we use for all company codes we are using for this report, group reporting. The last one it is optional, very optional I can say hard harder index based on this currency used in the external reporting purpose. Some of the countries with, with the really high inflation. It is assigned to the country settings especially. I can say this is especially we used instead of reporting, it is external reporting wherever the demand that time only used. I can say mainly any organizations used for the like a company code currency and another one is a group currency they are using. You got me right? Group currency they are using. They I can say in ECC this max uh, max is a three support, three currencies supported, currency type also beside I'm given 10. Group currency is a 30, hard index based currency. I can say 40 or 50, it will support it. ECC. Or uh, three are standard only. Okay. These three, I can, if you needed max three currencies, you can get the report. Like you got my data. I can say here is group currency, you are using USD. I can say here is every value, it will converting to the INR value to the USD. 
you got me right uh, example this is converting to the 83 rupees point of view by i can say here is 24 dollars sales this one in usd here you posted example here is uh, here you posted a thousand it's thousand dollars on like that euro here is uh, one euro is usd mean i can say one layer whatever you posted high level all inr level it will update it the second layer this is converting to the usd this reporting point of usd you are posted inr converting to the usd level show sure. usd you posted usd it will be converting euro also same you posted euro i can say uh, uh, usd it will be converted example 1.2 it will be equal to 1.2 1.3 it will be there so example 1 euro is equal to usd is a 1.2 like that it will be there so that conversion it will happen example if you want to see online that is also we can see 1 euro is equal to euro versus usd is today 1.08 is there you got me 1.08 so 1.0 basis it will be converting to the value so euro to usd 1.08 correct no? 1.08 is 1.08 right no? so here is i can say i can say here is like mm -hmm, $500 into 1.08 is converting to the 540 usd dollars i can say this level it is updating to the usd level this is inr converting to after converting values will be posted so what i mean to say here is overall in ecc max to max three currencies it is supported in three also mainly we used a group currency and company code currency and group currency this two is next coming to the s4 hana s4 hana there is no changes here is like a standard currencies as it is this is the same it will supported as s4 hana Com com company code currency yes it is supported as is group currency yes it is supported as is hard index based currency as the same thing it is optional if you require we can use it so next is user defined currency i can say here is user defined currency in user defined currency like in in in, in <coughs> sorry in s4 hana we have a concept as user defined currency that maximum eight user defined currencies we can define let me there is a right side one figure i have to make it ready here is this we call a free currency also a local currency group global uh, i can say global global nothing but we are using the group currency as a global currency i can say here is two currencies apart these if you see there are eight free defined currency i can use it free currency one a first currency first free currency second free currency this is a technical names so you can uh, no not not bother about it okay i can say here is user defined currency user defined user defined user defined user defined the meaning of the user defined currencies we can like uh, the meaning our own currencies we can define there is no restriction to system here there is a restriction system already designed for a company code currency you need to use a 10 that is what you need to be submitted the legal report and another one group currency where consolidation report we need to take that one time where is a place we need to set up the scc code this must follow everyone every company code this must follow every company all company codes must follow the group currency this is some rules and regulations for like you, can, you got me right when company code currency what is the rule for years without company code currency is there any company code will create it i'm just asking everyone no no, no right sir. without company code currency there is no possible there is not possible e, now in s4 hana group currency also mandatory i can say group currency also mandatory to use it this is every company code i'm just writing one statement small statement every company code their own currency they use it every company code must use this one must use the respective currency what are the currency if india that is used inr if it is a us based one usd you can say japan basis one G jpy japanese yuan they'll use it group currency all company codes common currency they must use all company codes means like a r group group means what take like example r we are using dr reddy's r like if you take hero hero groups if you take like any other like one of the group or whatever the company codes we can use the same currency example we are currently i am working with one client they have the we have the 20 company codes we are using one of the group currency okay here i can say all company codes must follow all company codes must use common currency i can say common currency here is the top level we need to use one of the mandatory currency that is a company code currency example india company code is will use inr 
the respective company codes use i can see india company code india company code generally we used hainer if it is a if it is a esa based one they'll use usd correct no currency pointer and if it is i can say any uk and company code they're using i can say euro or gbp i can say this one but all company code must use a common currency this use this can be company code can based on your business model that will be used example your business your business or your company code mainly it is a base of us uh, esa they'll used an usd currency they'll use it example you are doing a business based out like mainly you based out to the like majority of the company codes are, are like a base company here is like a, a european european country they'll used europe you got me right and same manner uh, i worked for one of the one client that is they are doing a saudi arabia example like okay? they're using they do the business main their uh, main branch i can say main their operations will happen in saudi arabia and the rest the european countries example so for they are using sar saudi arabia riyans they are using a group currency you got me right? based out all the uh, where is the centralized which currency they can see the, all the consolidation report they can use it depend depends on their business as mentioned three examples i given if it is based one they'll use usd if it is like a euro based one companies they'll use euro example i'm working saudi arabia basis that one they are using sar that group currency like a, any currency we can use it but i have received a few questions for the students sir like a, uh, usd is a man like a, is this usd only we can use for the group currency that no it is not it. sir we can use only euro currency as a group currency no any currency even inr also we can use it because you are doing a business in india basis you have branches established for the few countries example that can be europe that can be and, and china it can be another so you want to see the group currency inr only reporting yes happily you can say no doubt in that okay this is one point i can say next is as mentioned the behave, the functionality of the hard and index based currency that remain the same country especially external reporting point of wherever we can we can use this one actually let's see what is uh, what is extra what is additionally will help for the user defined currency what is the importance of this one will help us here us okay let me explain you here is you see that, that before that i can say these currency types we can start with like a y or like a z this is separate no separate place configuration point of view only at the time of like a currency settings we have there only we can do the configurations and last point is once you define this currency user defined currency example any company core can use it happily if they need they can use it they don't want happily the nothing required actually let's coming to this actually we i'm going to take <clears throat> two currencies i'm going to create those additional currencies i'm going to create an example i'm telling you user defined max i can say eight currencies we can use it now i'm going to use example here we know it is written 10 it is a company code currency 30 group currency 40 or 50 here i'm getting example y1 i'm giving to the y1 the my uh, this is one additional currency or free defined user user defined currency here is i'm using example user defined currency user defined currency this is i want to use i have created i can say euro this one more example example i'm creating y2 the names are choices either y1 you want to give y2 you want to give it g1 you want to give g2 completely your choice okay there is no restriction but it should be start with either y or g so here is user defined currency i'm using another currency example i can see usd and so here is you got me right sorry i used rub russian ruble currency i'm using this this is my plan so assume that how it is applicable where i'm using this one i'm writing here is assume that i have a two company codes i'm have the i'm taking to the two simple one i'm taking to the two company codes okay one company code i have the india i can write here is simple manner 
one of the company core i have example i have the company core two company codes i'm writing assume that the company code one one is india i have it the india example s4 hana point of view i'm writing example we are using the bajaj now bajaj groups i'm taking example bajaj groups the now you know i can say like a south africa it is a, one of the leading like a man track sailing of the two wheelers of the bajaj or india company code only let me take i'm taking to the company core i'll be the name of the company code i'm giving to the b001 this is a india company code india company code i can say if you want the group name i'm going to take bajaj groups bajaj bajaj motors bajaj motors i'm taking it this is india they have the business b001 and as well as to the they have the business example example they have the business the company code name i'm giving b002 that is usa if you want usa next is if you want we want we can give another company code i can say like uk b003 they are using i can say uk uk and i can say uk or germany i can say de germany company code is a germany we call a de it's a country they call or else like in any i think that okay these three company codes i'm using let's figure out here is we know it is like a company code currency is a mandatory correct no? company code currency is company code currency i'm writing is a 10 it is example this is india point of view 10 meaning can anybody help me out what is the currency we need to use uh, yeah, what is i can use it is it right i know everyone yes yes right yeah yes, sir uh, yes i know is correct right i can use mandatory i need to use because my legal report i need to be submitted with inr only once you registered in india that must submit the reports with the inr rupees only not any other currency yes in us actually in usa you need to be submitted the report look is a usd currency only example coming to the rest uk i am writing to the euro if you want me to write i'll write a gbp also and just i'm taking the easiness i'm taking to the else like i'm taking to the gbp great britain pound okay example i'm telling you that now what is the group currency i need to use see as mentioned the group currency we can use based out of the your business cycle you can use it example i want to sense india company code i have the worldwide i want to see the currencies my i'm using usd yes happily i'm using the group currency i'm using group currency i'm using usd so this is no option once activated group currency, every com every company code must follow the same currency. There is no option. Two company codes using USD, so two company codes using to the other currency. There is no option. Once you activated, everyone must follow the common rule for all company codes. This is the rules. As mentioned, hard index-based currency, you can very rarely they'll use it. Even country level, any reporting purpose also is using that you can ignore it. What I mean to say, this these are standard currencies where we are using. Then coming to the point is coming to the point. I want to use Y1 and Y2, two currencies I have activated. In S4 HANA point of view only, I'm talking about. Okay. S4 HANA point of view only, I'm talking. Here, yeah. Uh, now it's the voice is clear, right? Last five minutes to 10 minutes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. sir. Okay. Due to the maybe and uh, ECC server activation. Thanks for. We'll continue to the next half an hour because of. Okay. So here I can say, is it fine, right, to continue to the next half an hour? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, chill. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now the Y and Y2 currency I have activated. What is the restriction for me to, by using these three company codes, my Y1 and Y2 company codes, my restriction? What is the restriction for it? Is there any restriction, first of all? No restriction using to the user defined no restriction the name itself predefined currency happily if you need you can use it if not ignore it so no restrictions i'm writing one point no restrictions to use or to activate to activate user defined currency user defined currency for a company course for company course no rules happily whenever you want happily note that like a happily you want it 
so free defined currency means that really it is a free defined the mean the freeness it we have up let compare both let i have a activated y1 and y2 so example my india company code i want to use i want to use example i want to use y1 company code y1 currency right huh? y1 i want to use y1 nothing but a user defined currency right huh? user defined currency user defined currency i want to use is the ERS euro? It will be showing a report. Example. Next is what is a Russian ruble? So use a defined currency. Y two also India company core. They want to see Russian ruble also. They want to see this one. Yes, happily we can. If you, how many currencies you activated? Your choices maximum eight you can activate it. But and make you well make it understand purpose. I have a. I have sorry. I have created two example. Two I have activated. Now coming to the in uh, coming to the US company code, USA company code. So USA company code. I want to use example. I want to use only euro. I don't want to use for the you know, like a Russian ruble for India company code. Yes, happily you can activate it. Happily you can activate it. Either one goes. Next is example. Next is an example. Here is. UK company code. I don't want euro. I need to use the third currency as my reporting point of view. Russian. Yes, happily you can use it. You got me right. So free defined currencies. Once you activated which company code, how many currencies you want, you can use. This is purely reporting point of view only. Correct? No. This is like a user defined currency of the importance we can use. It. So next point is, if you are clear, this point I want to add a few more points. Here is, here is I can say I can say here is user defined currency. Here one two three here is here one point I want to add you here is this will not support for the asset accounting. Okay, why it is not supported asset accounting? We'll discuss later at the time of asset accounting. Maybe next week around I can tell you. User defined currency not support. For asset accounting, okay. Keep in mind this question. We will discuss that time. Okay, it is not support. The rest it will support for anyway for like user different currency. So if I'm post any transaction, I can see the, all the currency. I can see it. Correct? No? This this currency, this currency, I can see it. And if I can post a company code currency here, like uh, the here is, I can see it happening. You got me right? I can see it this one. Let me show you in configuration point of view in S4 HANA, especially only currency point of view. I'm going to show you here is, and I'll post one entry and show you also that okay transaction point of view. Let me connect. Let me connect. Let me connect. Let me connect SAP system. ECC, yeah, as mentioned, I want to show you the way the configurations, but due to uh, limitation of the system, I'll do one thing. Okay, give me a second. Perfect. So I'm going to go for a currency settings example. Let me take here. So by the time we'll do one thing, ECC point of view, uh, there is one only one place for the configuration that I want to show you in your screens. So I can find in online. I'm going to show you here is ACC. You can say OB 2022 screen in ECC. You can get it. Just I want to show you. I think majority of the students are coming from ECC. Uh, Based on the correct now, can you see this one? This one, this one, this one. Yeah, this is a screen example. Let me uh, save as an image. We'll take you this one.
yeah see everyone notice this is a place example we can define a currencies correct no? uh, in ecc point of view if possible uh, tomorrow i'll bring to the uh, good screen company code currency and group currency that hard and index based you can live this is only currencies this uh, three currencies is a limitation in ecc point of view tomorrow i'll give you the good, good screen i do not have any option ecc to define to the user defined currencies right yep let back to back to s ohana yeah back to s ohana yeah if you see here is there are many currencies that are already activated you don't worry about this one example here is example here is i'll going to use zero is a posting currency we see in document currency posting right? that you can ignore the reporting point of view is a 10 we have it and another one is a 30 group currency these two you can ignore. 40 and 50 you can ignore as mentioned hard and index based currency now i'm talking about like a reporting um you can see in s4 hana one is a 10 is currency then second is like a 30. the last if you see y1 is like additional currency euro purpose i have activated this one so why why two i'm not created i need to see because in between we have settings it is allowing me to, you can find else like an i can do it so here these three currencies the full last currency let me know if the system is allowing or me not now example i'm trying for it example y2 additional currency i can say additional currency per rub data rub i can say give me a second i'm trying for it rub rub i'm writing just i'm writing to can say Let me try and um, follow me to, 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 to. no restrictions I can do to, 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 because we zero zero company code I have already set up in system for our testing purpose. Okay. In a second, so it is saving the system. It got saved it. it got confirmed. Okay. Perfect, no? Shall I then, okay, give me a second. Yeah, postings point of view, we see. I just created currencies one more. I can say any time I can create it. Mm -hmm. This currencies example, if I come back, here is Y1 and Y2. The activation are choices. So now understand here is, there is a rules, we have option, actually. Rules, we have the option, a company code specifications, here is. In S4 HANA, we have actually, example, if I make it as, not activated company code. I can say we have the maintain one time if you maintain global uh, currency conversion rules. I can say conversion rule is nothing but a source currency, exchange rate type, transaction type, how to converting. This rules, once I have activated a global level, the meaning it is applicable for all company code. But in ACC, each company code wise, you need to be activated. There is no choice to centralized to rules to define. Okay, this is one new uh, po small point I can say here is. Okay, if you want separately, each company code wise, you want separately maintain to the rules, particular currency, example, user defined currency, euro. You want each company code wise, separate rules you want to maintain, you can maintain, just activate at this one. Each company code wise, you can activate at the rule. The rules are nothing but I can say, conversion rules. Conversion rules means, so how it is a, uh, the one currency to another currency to translate. That is source currency, I can say, source currency are like a standard, <clears throat> Exchange rate type, uh, stand, uh, M type, average type, I can say translation date and real time conversion. This is fine. So what I'm going to do, I'll post one transaction I'm going to show into in a system. Here, example, actually arrays like, oh, do, 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 do. give me a second. I have activated already B001 company code. These three I activated. I'm trying to for this one example. I'm trying to, trying to, trying to. Mostly it will not allow my idea. Give me a second. I'm trying to for... Because in between, not actually, not accepted. Let me, I said I'm trying for it. If it is accepted, it's fine. Else, like, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go with the three currencies. Give me a second. Company code, B001, as mentioned. I have activated already data. Predefined currency. 
I want to use only Y1 only. Y2 not coming, right? Mm -hmm. Because example One second. Mm, small point. Okay. Let me, let me, let me. Let me. So, in two, 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 the currency, currency, so, so, so. At the time of especially currencies, ledgers is one place actually here is. Yeah. So I have activated two currencies. Huh? So 10, we know I know 30 USD. I can say Y1, Y2 is a, like a, I can say Russian ruble, right? Huh? We have converting to the Russian ruble. Let me check in. We're not activated here as we need to activate it. Give me a second. Okay. Currency Y2 means Russian ruble. Ruble activated. Same ten currency. Second, you don't worry about like a, what is settings I'm doing. Okay, do focus on only how the values are updating to the. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm doing activating to the another additional currency. Just focus on to the result how it is reflecting to the RS. I'm activating to the Y1 already there. Y2 I'm trying to activate for the company code P0 one company code. Okay. So Y2 can't use the currency conversion because of this one. Okay. Global currency. Yes, it is real time conversion. Example. Now, 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 zero L, can say here. Because be completely, yeah. I'll go to assign one more time again. Because two minutes, huh? so to wait more a minute, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, Y1 and Y2. What is the rate for INR to your Russian ruble? We'll maintain accordingly the rate, okay? So give me, give me, give me, give me a second. Y2 can't be used because of this one, okay? Yeah, I, I expected in between not accepting to the currency to activation and all the stuff. Let me know what I'll do. I'm removing as this. I'm removing, I'm removing to this one. Yeah, back to here. See, in live already activated my server actually. This is example, but I have activated these three currencies as I activated. If I post a transaction, I can see these three currencies. I can see it. Let me I'll post one transaction. I don't I want to show you for you to the transaction point of view. Okay, it getting saved. Okay, wait, wait, wait for it, wait for it. If I post any transaction, I can see the three currencies. If I activated very initially, I can say not now, it is in between. Initially, if I activate it, we can see the ultimately four currencies also. I can see the values. Let me, I'm going to show you posting's point of view. I'm using, I'm using. I just want to show you the postings. Come on, come on. Perfect, right? So I'm posting a general entry only, example. FB50, I'm posting, yeah, today date, take, I'm taking to the comp. See, we know it is FB50. If you want to change the company code, we can change it. Now we are using the B0 company code. 
just example i'm posting today date okay with the inr only uh, okay reference if you want to use one two three four okay here is i can say expenses any expenses example now skipping expense and posting debited to example example i'm using here is thousand or uh, thousand inrs and uh, next is you can say cash or bank account i'm using example mm, i'm just using cash account example mm -hmm. credit i'm using thousand click on enter i'm simulating and posting okay simulating simulated and posted yeah i have done the post transaction posting and the way of posting is ec2 s4 hana no changes display the report you can see here is yeah okay one second now. there is the settings is missing for the INR it posted 1000 rupees i can say group currency to post 12.5 euros it is showing to the wrong one right huh? let me correct here is there is a something wrong here is here is re the last get me let me check let me check there is a wrong conversion example conversion rule is wrong right huh? it should be 12 the meaning euro it is close to 15 15 or like i can say 20 euro stone it should be there correct huh? Let me correct this one. Three currencies will be updated. But OB, give me a second. There is something wrong here. Is. We'll correct it with we'll more. Okay. Ticker example, currency type M. I can say INR versus Euro. Mm -hmm. What rules it is defined? It is defined. Yes, somebody has maintained because the server is common server. It is maintained. Somebody is INR to Euro is the maintained. But it is wrong, right? Okay. Latest algorithm. Okay. OB08. OB new entry. New entry. Example. I am maintaining to the M. I am maintaining to the valid date. Today date I am giving. Okay. 06, 04. 04 2024 okay what is the rate one i okay let me write here is let me write here is what is the rate for a euro to isd right euro to versus isd what is the rate here is sorry inr euro to inr it is like it is. one year is equal to point to point like or else vice versa we may we'll see euro versus and uh, today it is around 90 change right yeah i have sorry i have seen there 90.25 okay we'll go we'll go we'll go 90 point 90 will maintain okay 90.05 like that i'm mentioning this is a inr versus inr versus I'm entering to this way right now. So let's uh, posting. I'll go to post now. Give it a second. Let me. I'm posting again. Eh? So we'll check it now. I'm giving example same same thousand on everything. Just the corrections here is I'm giving expense account and debit thousand. I'm giving here is I'm giving a cash account example. I'm using a thousand INR only. If I'm posting thousand INR, I'm simulate and post it. Simulate and post it. Written poster. If you see the document, you can see you can see that here is everyone you can see here is based on based on the value thousand INRs I'm posted. Okay, this is posting currency. I can say what currency you posted the posting currency. This is a local currency INR. Local currency is nothing but INR report. Group currency mine USD. I'm using twelve point five. And an additional currency, the euro, it is converting to the thousand, is converting to the euro currency, is nothing but like a 1100, sorry, 11 euros it is coming. So if you are added a Russian ruble example, Y2 currency, if you are added Russian ruble, that also I can see happy with me. This is one entry I want to show you for the euro currencies point of view. Uh, okay. Like any, if you are added eight currencies, happily it will update eight currencies. The result of the eight currency, I can see one screen. 
it means each docking device i can see the eight currencies along with the standard currencies i can see so okay any questions because Sir, here, i here uh, global currency means group currency ah yeah? Uh, yes, actually. Okay. See, uh, there is a global. If you go for a global meaning, sometimes INR also it will be a global. Example, in doing a business in India, second currency what you need to use mandatory. INR only you need to use. Example, I'm telling you. So here, like a high level you can importance you can remember. Just group currency is nothing but a, sorry, uh, global currency is nothing but a group currency. Uh, nothing but here is second layer. what currency you are going to use that is a global currency man simple i can say you got me right this is a company code currency uh, this is this level you what you are going to use that is a global global it can be a group it can be other currency also majority of the times it will be a group currency okay okay in whatever the currency we are supposed to derive the reports that can be called as global currency second currency where we are is that is a global global currency you got me right? this is company yeah. code currency no no change here. this is we call global nothing but majority of the time group currency as a global currency okay yeah. see no, one sir. point i want to add to you is like the screen if you see everyone everyone if you see there is global currency there are added controlling area see in s4 hana it is a mandatory the currency is whatever group currency is coming from via controlling area only it will come if you want make a note so ecc i'll go for a ob22 i'll update directly to the group currency but in s4 hana it should be specified to the group currency in a controlling area that currency it is updated to the default it will assign to the all the groups that way it will come that's reason the table level they very clearly mentioning to the global currency it is coming from controlling area that is a minor if you want make a note one more point here is this is about the currency point of view as well any questions other questions currency point of view before i move on to the ledgers uh, point of view ledgers maybe hello I sir can... yes sir uh, go ahead yes sir go ahead. Uh, sir what is the source for the company code currency group currency global currency uh, what is the source sir that means uh, this is my local currency inr while i am posting to global currency this is my global currency usd or uh, uk or uh, gbb or anything sir sir what is the source we here in ledgers we are defining the this is the group currency or local currency we are defining for the com company code but what is the source for it sir yeah good good question uh, who is the question is ravi ravi yeah good question ravi so coming to the point so i i'll explain you here is so purpose or source is this is a heritage see company code currency how we define particular currency based on as mentioned if you are doing a business in india you need to be submitted a report with the currency of inr so as for regulations you are maintaining to the inr while creating to the company code let me figure out here is the first correct the first we'll go for it example spro ing this is a example like uh, enterprise structure definition i can see financial accounting company code i need to be different here yeah, come to that mm -hmm. here i'm as i mentioned i shown you b001 right huh? see b001 is india company code here i need to be specify to the inr this is a source for a company code currency okay yes sir yes sir right, right. second point is second point is second point very 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 here, here is like a group currency the t code i am mentioning to this one ssc4 we need to create a via controlling area it linked to the company codes that is i have mentioned clearly the point to here is no worries i am going to take you to the question and i'll show you sir that means the client currency is our uh, group currency correct right right nothing but. exactly is a client currency is a nothing but as mentioned is like as mentioned somewhere i have write it here is yes you do not have you don't have you do not have the no chance mean no choice for you to the once you decided to usd your group currency you must use for all your company codes no no boss i have, i'm i'm not going to use i'll use only for a few company codes i'm not going to use for there is no choice for you this level you what you are activated like client level i can say client level 
client level you are activated that is i can say sse 40 code is right huh? what is our client example our client we are using 400 basically we are using there is, there is somewhere it will be yeah sorry our client is a 400 for my client i already activated two points is sc4 go for here is don't try for your side as mentioned i have activated usd this i'm going to use for across all company quotes as a group currency it is not a only usd we need to use group currency you can use euro you can use sar you can use based on your business location business uh, design you can use it this is one point for a source again once you activated this one for in s4 hana what you need to do example here is you need to you need, you need to specify at a controlling area example in a controlling area example sir, my control is selecting group currency it will automatically pick from the scc4 sir coming coming yes yes see we in ssc4 we have activated ssc is a group currency as usd is it right we have specified there in ssc4 then if you come to the here is while creating to the cross company code example i'm using multiple company codes example here is i have activated my 30 30 unity band once we activated 30 automatically usd it will be taken here what you do here is both two company codes are using sorry uh, cross company code cross company code meaning here is example i'm telling you to that telling you to that give me give me, give me, give me a second one controlling area you have activated two company codes one us company code one is india company code you have activated example so so here 30 is group currency is activated ssc4 and via controlling area as mentioned i have activated 30 is a controlling area so the result of it the result of it the result of it while going to be activated the ledgers i'm not covered so far i'm going to cover if i'm activating what will happen this is already it will default attack default it will be uh, assigned because while creating to the company code we have seen it right up this will default 10 company code currency while creating company code itself currency will assign this is no doubt for this also it will default it will come it will default it will come no change is possibility also automatic your company code because of two settings one ssc4 level you have done second is controlling area level controlling area level you have assigned assigned 30 currency currency type currency type 30 that can be usd that can be anything you got me right because of these two settings this when when coming to the your 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 company codes it will be defaulty it was activated usd as well let me show you that also for a path for you to that okay you got me right okay spro here mc let me allow me second and sorry financial accounting click here is ledgers there is yeah currencies and ledgers if I'm activating here, example, LMS second, second. In we have a ledger default one. Anyway, ledger point of view discuss tomorrow. Just I want to show you the the currencies, company code currency and group currency. It will be defaulted for our company codes. How it will be default because of these those two settings. It will be defaulted. Let me, I'll be going to show you for you to that. Give me a second. Yeah. Here is. One second. So this setting, I'm going to show you anyway, but uh, prior to that, based on question, I just want to show you how it got defaulted. Okay. This setting, I'm going to show you tomorrow. No worries. So here is our company code is b001 right two, 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 two. can you see here is uh ravi uh, you asked the question you see it is no option for us it is got defaulted grayed out right b001 its system it is taken to the 10 that is company code creation 30 global currency means like a group currency what we have specified in control here 30 it is taken out of is there option to change no 
only we have option user defined currencies only you have option y1 i have activated okay this is way this is a source for a, to us any other questions i hope you are clear i hope i'm i'm clear your question probably right yes sir yes sir clear sir sir uh, one small conflict is there sir sir we yes. are assigning the company code to company right sir in that company that means group company we are defining one currency uh, and in uh, SC, sccc4 we are defining the group currency sir sometimes in uh, uh, sap.com they are saying that the group currency is picking from the uh, ox02 but uh, sometimes uh, for controlling area it is picking group currency it is picking from the sccc4 sir which is uh, which we have to believe sir that means client is also in. asking sir correct coming to that the best practice i'm telling you to the company while creating to the, maybe the initially consultant not aware of about it the conflict he has assigned to the currency at the time of company creations give the blank you got me right don't assign anything this is the best practice don't assign, don't assign any currency here yeah okay sir okay right yeah okay sir no problem any other questions currency related before we conclude the class that only sir thank you sir from my thank side. you yeah uh, any others if sir, no uh, yeah. uh, this is uh, uh, user defined uh, currencies are uh, nearly eight no the purpose of the user defined currency is to view the reports in uh, whatever the currency they want to view that's it. that is the purpose of the user defined currency sir yes not only user defined the company code currency group currency also purpose of the reporting one okay ha uh, reporting only but um, uh, eight more other currencies are there no the reporting only you want uh -huh. to see other currency the values what we have doing a transaction this so Posting that in one, no, we can uh, view the report in more currencies that's it Exa exactly 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 yeah, more currencies you can use it maximum 10 currencies you can see the reporting for all uh -huh. So you got me. Max to max, four to five only. In any organization use it. Okay. Transaction postings, you can see any nothing. You got me right. Transactions, uh -huh. yes. Uh, you can, you can, you can use any currencies here. ECC or as for now. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for it. Like, uh, we'll connect tomorrow morning. Okay. This I'm going to share with you the recording. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Actually, we didn't expect this uh, session. <laughs> we didn't expect. Sorry, you're saying something. It means. Uh, you are 